Neither snow nor rain nor gloom of night stops the Starbase summaries. In fact, we quite like the night shots, and it doesn't snow at Starbase. Here we are, folks, kicking it off over at Massey's. See some work on the 18.1 and 18.3 test tanks. You know the drill. We're going to flash Starbase images on the screen. We're going to talk about what we see in them, like this S39.1 test tank. And y'all are going to tell me what I missed down in the comments. It how it, it's how it goes. You can see the piping there makes it look like they're doing some enclosed work on the inside or somehow ventilating or clearing the air in that enclosed space, that uh, dryer tube, oversized dryer tube. We did see this. We've got it labeled methane tank farm testing. Over there at Massey's, remember the big uh, destruction that happened at Massey's? Sort of shut down parts of it. They've been rebuilding it, and so that might be part of the recommissioning of areas that are newly uh, repaired or reconstructed is really right. We've also got that 18.3 cryo testing happening there. And then here, interestingly, it's that static fire service structure right there up at the top. It looks like it's about to reach into a building and grab you and take you for the aliens. Uh, it's a War of the Worlds reference. Anyways, is a ship quick disconnector we've seen over there. Here's back at the prod site uh, where the Gigabay construction continues on. Actually have a work basket flying in the middle there. The beams continue to rise. We've seen the four tower cranes preparing to get even taller as they have put together a significant amount of beamage here. Another great night shot from Caesar over this way. And a quick note, if you've been keeping up with Starbase Live, it looks like the construction in this area is going to expand, so we have relocated some of our roadside reporters, our 24-7 cameras. Uh, right here in this area, they started to put out survey flags and markers, so to make sure that we did not impede construction in any way, we did move those cameras over to an area that looks like it would not be affected by the construction. So, if you're a fan of Starbase Live, you're like, what happened to the view up the aisle? Uh, we wanted to make sure we stay out of SpaceX's way so that they can continue on with getting this structure built. So, there's some LOX landing tanks for Booster 19. Yeah, there you go. It came out of the factory on the side. It's going all the way around the Gigabay. Oh, hey. Hey, it came out on the road. Where, where are you going? Look at that. Instead of going around the back, it actually came out on the public road and uh, is going up the old Remedios turn there. In fact, the new camera position is very near that turn, so we'll see things that are coming around the corner. We actually have a really cool shot of the mural, and there's cyber trucks parked on the side, and you can see the rocket garden and stuff like that now. And as that Gigabay starts to rise, we'll have a really good view of the top construction areas on the Gigabay. Look at this thing go! <laughs> That's too cool. Of course, that's the landing tank. It's situated down at the bottom of the uh, booster, right? And it is, uh, if you look at the diagrams of the booster, you see the pictures of B-18. Um, did I say that right? Yeah. The, uh, you'll see that sticking up on one side. What are they doing here? Are they prepping it for lift, potentially? It's on that sort of work stand. There's a big crane block coming on on one side, and then on the other side we see that yellow work platform that you can hop on and be lifted by the crane. It looks like they were rigging the top of it. Because there is that sort of cabling that goes from the top of the structure. There it just got picked up or put down. It got picked up by an SPMT. They must have had it on the ground, and you saw it sort of choo -choo -choo as they got the SPMT to pick it back up again, and then took it over into the Mega Bay. Got a brief shot looking into Mega Bay 2 here. Ship, th it looks like somebody did a wax job on the tiles. Am I crazy? Is it just the lighting, or does it look like somebody went through there? And but why are they so shiny? Is it just the shot or the lighting, or have I missed? Like, look at the very defined reflection down the middle. No kidding. Was well, speaking of Booster 18's F, there you can see on the side. If I am not mistaken, you'll correct me if I am. The landing tank that's sort of sticking out the top. That's not to be confused with the uh, transfer tube downcomer or whatever you want to call it. Down. What in the UFO are they building? It looks like a bug, and its auntie is trying to about to climb up to the top, or maybe it's already taken off. Uh, the World's Fair or whatever needs to have a place to put the captured UFOs. Does this explain SpaceX's sudden advancement? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta give credit <laughs> to the editor for that one. <laughs> Clearly, they're not putting uh, alien technology on top of that pedestal. In plain sight, what a great place to hide it in case Elon ever needs to return to his home world. <laughs> Come on, it's Men in Black. Uh, looking over at the apartment building construction. 
there. We've seen some uh, new work happening on the top of it. Is that going to be like a rooftop hangout area or bar or something? I really wonder. Um, it would make perfect sense if they had sort of a big recreation thing on the roof of the thing. But I guess we will find out. Look at that. It's even got the old jaunty SpaceX slant there at the front of it. It's going to be filled in, it sort of looks like, in that uh, angular Tyrell sort of corporation motif that SpaceX likes so much. I don't, it, like, clearly there have been other angled buildings in science fiction. It's not unique to Blade Runner. I need some help down below. Like, it's not really an Egyptian pyramid sort of thing. Those are blocky and pixelated. It's like low resolution uh, sort of deal. But help me out down in the comments. Give me some other angled buildings we can use in the future. As part of moving this around over at the old launch site, taking up that old methane tank, we're going to be looking at some work happening over in that area now. Remember, we've actually changed the structure of these videos a little bit. Instead of going completely temporally in chronological order, we have tried to group them by sort of topic. So you saw stuff happening over at Massey's, and then we saw some Gigabay work, and then we saw that landing tank, the Booster 19 LOX landing tank going around. Uh, we're going to come back to the Gigabay here. Like, we're trying to group it more by theme. Oh, well, this is actually the tank still moving, but it just happens to be at the Gigabay. Uh, instead of just making it completely chronological. They continue to dig for buried treasure, or at least get what is clearly visible scrap out of the way. Over there at pad one, the big hydraulic jacks just breaking up concrete and rebar. Back and forth, that one guy in the very comfortable folding chair there. No need to kill your back. Just sit in the folding chair with your... It looks like a cutting lance, I guess. Maybe he's chopping out rebar or something. These things... Look at this thing. The coolest thing is that it's like an interchangeable tool on the end of the... Oh, man. See, this one's got the grabby tool. The other one has the hydraulic da -da 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 tool. Like the <laughs> That's what it should be labeled. <laughs> you walk into, like, United Reynolds or Cat or something, you're like, yeah, I need one of those. You know what I mean? That's what it sounds like. It looks like spaghetti. Doesn't that excavator know that you need the excavator with the spoon attachment, and then you, you put the spoon under the rebar, and then you sort of have the fork attachment, and you spin it around to pick it up? No way. Look at that. That's a deluge section plate. You see the, the structure there? That's, wow. Just dump it on the ground. That's the, what the water would go through in the past. Uh, when you got the upside-down shower head, those channels that you scroll back and look at it again, you can see the channels that would fill with water, and then they would come out the nozzles pointing up for that deluge system. They're just throwing it on the ground. Get this out of the way. We got different ideas. We actually got NASA's ideas from a while ago now. But in any event, there's some more that 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 work. Ah, yes. And a fantastic sunset shot of orbital pen. You know something? This, it really does illustrate the time that the, uh, the team spins out there. I started it off with a whole neither snow nor, you know, that's a U.S. Postal Service. If you're from another country, and you don't know that neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night stays these couriers from, what is it, swift completion of their appointed rounds. It's engraved on the Postal Service building uh, over here in the States talking about the mail must go through. But uh, the team really is out there catching these shots. Massive thanks to them for uh, being out there to catch this stuff. Here we've got some shielding. And put back over there. There's the hold down cover door, I think. More work on the chopsticks. We've seen them capping off the chopsticks. If you look at the far chopsticks on the extreme left of your screen there, it's already got sort of a, an end cap put on it. Not really a blind, but just an end cap. There's that pad 2 ship cutie arm. Been seeing a lot of, I don't know, let's say finalization work on it, right? But uh, in any event, oh, look at this. That said, it lasted about 60 seconds. That's a very sort of long duration. Did I get that right? Wow. And then a shorter one coming up after it. You know, it is what it is. Sometimes I, I see something and I glance at it. I'm like, wait, it really? Did, did I just read that number correctly? And then I try to glance back and make sure I read it correctly. But here we are looking at pad two. You got the cable, one single cable that goes up and down a lot going in the wind here as we do this tilt up the tower hey that was anthony anthony's out there for a couple days doing some shooting for us thanks anthony 
Got a shot of Starhopper here as well with the sun going down and the artifact. That's not a mysterious blue planet. That's just a lens artifact from that super bright light pointer right at the camera. Over at the ASU Foundation area, again, this is across the street from uh, Pad 1, basically, right? Right sort of there at the end of the beach road. Got a inverted, wacky, waving, inflatable, concretable two-bar man there slightly. There's the multi-stage compressor platform. If you saw those massive turbo-looking <laughs> pumps that would clearly not fit in your Miata, I'd like to see you try, though. That sounds like a YouTube video. Uh, it looks like they're putting in some of the plumbing for that there. Is this where they... Yeah, look at that. You can see the, the repair. That's where they hacked out that extra concrete, and then they re-poured new concrete, and you see sort of the scar. No, like, if you didn't see that... Hop back and have a look at it, and you can see the scar. You can even see it here in the concrete. Like, scroll back and look at that real quick. Look at those two. Wow. Clearly, if I'm not mistaken, those are going to be covered in protective. Even the lighting sees are nice. They're going to be covered in, like, a protective structure, I would guess. I don't know. But why have them there so that the salt air is blowing on them constantly, right? We're just instructing. In instructing? We're just installing them here. So these are probably some of the, the last shots we'll see when they get that protective housing or whatever you want to call it on top of them too cool they even got look they got a bag on that one there to keep fod from getting inside i imagine you don't want sand in your turbine blades oh is the big concrete part for the motor wait a second let's see if this thing gets lifted up and put on that concrete pedestal i, I actually don't yes there you go is that why we're preparing the big concrete pedestal? And look at the output shaft on that. It's not exactly like a PTO like you'd see on a tractor. That's just the output shaft for that massive motor unit. God, I, look, I like rockets, but I like seeing stuff like this too. Like this is loosely related to rockets. It's like rocket adjacent. What? This is not rocket adjacent. <laughs> I just love seeing infrastructure work like that, especially before it's all cleared up this however is labeled a hispid cotton rat i am not a ratologist i don't know if that's correct or not i'll trust the labelers ah look at that in a rosette spoonbill those things are wacky because they got that look at their look at the beak bill whatever to like dig in the sediment and slurp up phytoplankton or minnows or whatever it is they eat I don't know. Folks, hey, it's always a good time. I love seeing what's going on at Starbase. I try to not make it too technical, uh, clearly, <laughs> but want to share with you all what's going on and keep you a little bit up to date. Big thanks to the team out there. Caesar, Colleen, Anthony was out there as well. If you want Dutch commentary, Martin's here is, is down in the settings, but uh, appreciate y'all watching, and we will see you nerds later.